need to merge separate FastMCP services into one unified application without losing their original functionality. You'll see how to use import server without any prefixing, preserving the exact tool names and resource URIs from your subservers. This pattern keeps your components cleanly organized while making them directly accessible under their original identifiers. From FastMCP, import FastMCP. Import Asincio. Hash define subservers. Whether MCP equals fast MCP, name equals weather service. At weather MCP, tool. Def get forecast city SDR, dict. Get weather forecast. Return city, city forecast, sunny. At weather MCP, resource. Data slash slash cities slash supported. Def list supported cities, list SDR. A list cities with weather support. Return London, Paris, Tokyo. Hash define main server. Main MCP equals fast MCP. Name equals main app. Hash import subserver. A sync def setup. Hash import without prefix components. Keep original names. Await main MCP, import server, whether MCP. Hash result main MCP now contains hash tool get forecast original name preserved hash resource data slash slash cities slash supported original URI preserved if name equals equals main Asincio run setup main MCP run this demonstrates server composition through static importing a modular architecture pattern for building complex systems from independent components. The technique allows you to combine specialized servers into a unified interface while preserving their original functionality and naming. What makes this distinctive is the one-time copy approach, where components are imported at startup rather than dynamically linked at runtime. The pattern works by treating servers as composable units, where a main server can absorb tools, resources, and other components from subservers. The import operation creates a clean separation between development and deployment. You build focused servers independently, then assemble them into a cohesive application. This follows the Unix philosophy of small, focused components that combine to solve larger problems. This approach solves the problem of monolithic server growth by enabling logical separation of concerns. You gain reusability of common services, clearer team boundaries, and the ability to swap implementations without affecting clients. The trade-off is that static importing doesn't reflect runtime changes in subservers, making it ideal for stable components rather than frequently updated services. Let's break it down. From FastMCP, import FastMCP. Import Asincio imports FastMCP, the core class for creating AI callable tools and resources. The Asincio import enables asynchronous operations required for FastMCP's non-blocking server architecture and tool execution. Hash define subservers. Weather MCP equals FastMCP. Name equals weather service. This instantiates a FastMCP subserver named Weather Service. Subservers modularize functionality, enabling independent development and selective integration into the main application. The name identifies this component in logs and when importing into other servers. At Weather MCP, Tool. Def get forecast city SDR, dict. Get weather forecast. Return city, city forecast, sunny. This decorator exposes get forecast as an AI callable tool. The function signature and doc string automatically generate the tool's schema, including parameter types and description, while the return type hint defines the output structure. At weather MCP, resource, data, slash, slash, cities, slash, supported. 
DEF lists supported cities, list SDR, a list cities with weather support, return London, Paris, Tokyo. This defines a data resource using FastMCP's resource pattern. The decorator exposes the function at the URI data slash slash cities slash supported, making it discoverable by other services, while the return type hint and doc string automatically generate the resource schema. Resources like this enable standardized data access across microservices without tight coupling. Hash define main server. Main MCP equals fast MCP. Name equals main app. This initializes the main fast MCP server instance named main app. This becomes the root container that will aggregate all imported subservers, creating a unified API surface for both tools and resources. The naming establishes clear hierarchy when combining multiple service modules. Hash import subserver. A sync def setup. Hash import without prefix components. Keep original names. Await main MCP import server, whether MCP. This async setup function handles server composition by importing whether MCP into main MCP. The import server method merges all tools and resources from the subserver while preserving their original names and URIs, creating a unified API surface. This is the standard pattern for modular fast MCP applications where you need to combine multiple service domains. Hash result, main MCP now contains. Hash tool, get forecast, original name preserved. Hash resource, data, slash slash cities slash supported, original URI preserved. This demonstrates FastMCP's server composition pattern. The import operation merges the weather subserver into main MCP while preserving all original names and URIs, creating a unified API surface. No naming collisions occur because components retain their original identifiers from the source server. If name equals equals main, Asincio run setup. Main MCP run. This is the standard Python entry point pattern. The name check prevents accidental server startup when this module is imported, while Asincio run setup initializes the server components before main MCP run starts the persistent service. This ensures proper async initialization before handling requests. Fast MCP server composition. The import server method demonstrates how Fast MCP 2 enables modular architecture by preserving component identities while allowing hierarchical organization, where tools and resources maintain their original names when imported without a prefix. The most recently imported server always takes precedence in naming conflicts, creating a natural override system for component resolution. This approach lets you build complex systems from simple, self-contained servers without losing the original component contracts. The server that surrenders its namespace gains the entire system.